you're looking at a an uber configurized HP Z8 workstation. So first, I'm going to go through the specs. Then I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about uh, Z workstations. And then we're going to benchmark this thing against my current workstation, which is a 5960X. The, you know, it's a it's an older uh, Intel based system that I've got a lot of life out of. It's got 64 gigabytes of RAM. I've used it and used it and used it and used it for several years. So we're going to put it up against that because I think a lot of people who are actually ready to get serious, ready to uh, you know, start doing some animation, ready to start working on video games and that sort of thing. Uh, they're going to be looking to move to a machine like this and maybe they're com coming from something like mine. So here's how we have this one configured. All right, for the CPU, it's really important to have frequency, but you want a lot of cores, right? So we opted for the Xeon Gold 6144 and we got two of them in there because they're eight core, 3.5 gigahertz and they'll turbo up to 4.2. Uh, I actually like this better than the i9. It's got a, a higher base frequency than the, the big i9s. Uh, but the other thing I like about it is it allows us to use ECC memory. And a lot of people are not going to care about that. They just want the ultimate frequency in cores and all that sort of thing. So that's fine. Uh, but if you're really getting serious and you're doing compiling, you're compiling your video game overnight or whatever, and you're doing tons and tons and tons of rendering and you need uptime all day long, well, you're going to want the Xeon and you're going to want the ECC memory. So as you can see here with the Xeon Gold, the stock is 3.5 and it'll go up to 4.8. So that one will turbo up to, they're about the same. It'll turbo up to like 4.4, but I'd still rather go with the Xeon for the stability. Now also in this machine, we have 128 gigabytes of DDR4 and that is ECC memory, of course. As far as storage goes, we have a freaking fast 512 gigabyte uh, M.2 SSD, and that's on the inside. There is a lot of room for extra storage in here, and that's all we have on this because we're just keeping it for a few weeks to check it out. In the front here, you see we have a, a slim DVD burner, and that's because this is a workstation, and a lot of the work that you're gonna be doing is gonna be video stuff, and um, it depends on your clientele, but a lot of people still have people coming and show, saying like, hey, can you put this on DVD for me? Okay, sure, uh, but that's something you can have or not have it's only a couple bucks so may as well here's where they differentiate um, a lot from hp like if you go to hp and just get like one of their z8 workstations uh, you can get something very similar to this but these guys have way more options and their prices are lower because they have you know they they've got their discount they work with hp uh, to get the discount so on this one you can get the gtx graphics cards like we have the uh, nvidia gtx 1080 ti in here and we've got that in sli and that makes uh, gameplay very smooth um, but it also is going to enable us uh, to do a lot more in the Unreal Engine. Works well with the Quadro, uh, but I actually prefer the 1080 Ti uh, for one one thing, the price is great. And number two, it's really fast for gaming performance. So uh, if we have a system like this and we're making a game, this is what I want. If you're doing like tons and tons of workstation stuff or graphic editing and stuff like that, you might wanna look at a Quadro, but they have all those options for you. Or you can even look at a, a Titan. And the last but not least, this one has Windows 10 64-bit uh, professional on it. And their configurator, guys, is really easy to use. So I, I was trying to figure out because they, they customize HP uh, workstations. I, that's like their, their main thing. And these are serious machines with like incredible build quality. But I asked them what differentiates them from some of the uh, you know other, other companies out there. So they sent us some notes here. Um, and while they didn't sponsor this video, they sponsored us for Computex. Uh, but I still wanted to read some of these because um, some of them are kind of funny. Some of them are pretty interesting. But they really emphasize that their their entire you know web interface their their uh, their customizer if you want to go and configure your system I guess the configurator customizer whatever uh, is way easier to use than HP's I played around with it it is so easy to use their checkout process and all that sort of thing does not induce tears like they said some on here some of the competition and stuff out there uh, makes people jump through hoops uh, they also offer net 30 terms to qualified buyers so that's pretty cool. Um, if you're going to be buying a bunch of these things for your new studio, that might come in handy. And the main thing that really sets them apart um, is the fact that even when you're buying one of the lower end models that they're getting, you know, they just get it from HP. Uh, it's still better to go through these guys than it is to go through HP, even if they're not going to be configuring anything. Just get it from them because you're going to get a lower price. So now um, I'm going to, uh, what are we doing now? I'm going to take the side panel off, show you the inside, and then we'll see how fast this thing is compared to my 5960X. Let's give you guys a view of the inside of this Z workstation. Now these HP server, uh, or these HP workstation cases are a thing of beauty. Look at that diagram right there. Everything's all laid out, it's beautiful. All right, so everything's compartmentalized, so that makes it easy to move around, easy to ship. Everything is very uh, stable on the inside. And since everything's compartmentalized, you're gonna have no issues with airflow and the heat from one compartment. Uh, it's not really going to travel that easily to the other. So let's remove the 
the first area there. As you can see here, we have plastic grooves cut out, number one, to keep everything in place, and also to help direct some of the airflow on top there for the CPUs. So there's all the different channels and stuff. Let's get a look at the insides. All right, there are our two Xeons. Now, these can uh, produce a little bit of noise. It's not excessive, and it's not that bad, but if you're doing some audio recording and stuff, uh, you might want to put this into a different room. Uh, that's just something you're going to do with audio recording anyway. For most people, it'll be, it's going to be an acceptable uh, noise level. So all of our cables are managed nicely, and we have plenty of extra slots uh, for memory. And as you can see, each TPU has its own memory. We have two GTX 1080 Ti's, and you can get this configured any way you like. So moving on over to the side, these are just spots where you can put hard drives. Really, really easy. Toolless. Whoa, I am, yeah, I'm not used to stuff pulling out that easily. All right, so your internal sled is made of plastic, but it is a reinforced plastic, it's thick. There we go. Yeah, just how easily everything uh, slides in and out when you're at the right angle. And all that, it's nice. So there is plenty of room uh, to upgrade on this machine. All right, I wanna show you guys what we're upgrading from. This is my current workstation. It's a little old, Core i7-5960X. And we also have a, a GTX 1070 Ti and you know 64 gigabytes of RAM. It's a nice computer. We've used it quite a while, but let's just see how much faster this is in V-Ray. All right, are you ready to hit start? Yeah. All right, three, two, one, start. We don't really need to do them at the same time because it's going to give us a readout, but hey, now it's a game show or something like that, right? This is very, this is good entertainment we're making right here. Maybe. So I am so entertained. I'm sure there's a workstation guru somewhere fapping to this. So V-Ray is a really good way uh, that you guys at home can, you know, download and try this out. It's a very quick and easy piece of software, as you can see. Test out your CPU performance and your GPU performance, and it'll work with multiple GPUs like we have in this machine and multiple CPUs. So this is gonna crunch through pretty fast. So you guys can follow along at home and then, you know, realize how much you need one of these Z workstations machines to get your workstationing worked on. Machines, Z. Station. Station. All right, as you guys can see here, uh, render time 39 seconds CPU and the GPU is 35 seconds. Let's run over. See how I did on my 5960X. Still rendering the GPU. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I, we stopped and joked around for a little bit and then started another take and this thing's still going. Yeah. There you go. Uh, oh, there, oh, there we are. Not bad. Nowhere near on the same level as the other one. All right, we're gonna do Indigo Bench, and that's gonna test the CPU, the GPU, and multiple GPUs. So you guys will see a one-to-one -one GPU comparison as well as seeing what it's like with multiple. You ready? Three, two, one, start. Okay, Indigo is finished. This is our Z workstations. Uh, I will make this available, this information, but uh, I'll be honest, guys, some of this stuff's over my head because I don't do 3D rendering, but you can see here the results. Of course, you know, Having this fancy Xeon and the dual 1080 Ti's makes it really freaking fast. And there you have it with the Indigo benchmark. All right, now we're gonna do a test that is very practical for our purposes. This is Adobe Premiere. And this is a little clip here from our upcoming Comcast skit where we kind of joke around about, uh, you know, just a regular old phone call with Comcast. We have 30 minutes here on the timeline. We're gonna start with our Z workstations. And over there with my workstation, the one we normally use, we're going to do it at the same time. Now we're going to do both of these at H.264, and we're going to use the setting for YouTube 2160p 4K. Just the default setting there. And we're going to hit it, uh, export. Um, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, export. All right, my current rig is almost done. It's finished. Now it's just got to write the file. The Z workstations, it was almost twice as fast. It's still doing its thing. Both of these are going to M.2, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But I'm waiting until this disappears because that is when you can actually use the damn file. Okay, so my 5960X is finally finished. 42 minutes and 33 seconds to render a 4K video that's 30 minutes long. I mean, this is like 
rendering, this is ridiculous. We could do twice as much work. This is gonna be so freaking handy for the Computex footage because we're doing a lot of stuff all day long. Now, it wouldn't be fair, and I'd never escape the vitriol in the comments if we also did not test with QuickSync. So we have 8700K there, my new rig. We're gonna test this over here. And we are going to do the same settings. YouTube 4K. And it's gonna be on hardware, accelerated. Let's do this. All right, I'll test with the, uh, well, not quick sync, the Intel integrated GPU acceleration enabled is finished. Not too bad. Okay, so obviously it's way faster than the 5960X. Um, it's gonna be faster than the i9 in a lot of different things, but it'll give it a run for its money here and there. Uh, but the main thing here is that it's stability, build quality, and just being able to customize exactly what you need. I really wish we didn't have to, uh, to send this back, but of course it's a huge, <laughs> beautiful machine. We can't keep this thing, uh, but I'm really glad we got to look at it. And um, now I know that we want one when it comes time to, uh, to really get down to work on this Vihander game for graphic editing, for you know using the engine, and especially for compiling stuff and letting it go overnight. You know, like, hey, let's make a build of the game and come back the next morning, have it ready to check out and play. This thing will crunch through it way faster than the other stuff. We may be able to just go to lunch and come back instead of letting it run overnight. So anyway, uh, Z Workstations, thanks for letting us check this thing out. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, are you someone who is in this industry and have you used one of these before? I've seen a lot of good things about them online and that's one of the reasons we said yes. So see you guys later. Be sure to check out a t-shirt on our store.